Divers beware. For Halloween, we're plunging into the spine-chilling depths of the world's most eerie underwater sites. Watch if you dare and learn about the top five scariest dive sites on the planet. Let's get into it. Friday the 13th is one of the most popular horror series of all time. It embodies the Hollywood slasher film style, and everyone knows the iconic symbol of the mask, the hockey mask that Jason Voorhees wore in each of those movies. Well, in Crosby, Minnesota, you can find the Luis Mine Pit. Diving this mine site is not for the weak, as it is deep, dark, and fairly cold. For divers who are brave enough to explore its depths, bring a flashlight. When you reach around 110 feet or so, you might just find this terrifying statue of Jason Voorhees staring right back at you. Skeletal remains of turtles and even a few dolphins are what you'll find at our next location. You'll need to fly all the way to Malaysia to find this spooky spot called Turtle Tomb. Yes, this is a real dive site and that is its real name, Turtle Tomb. Tomb. Now, this dive site is only for advanced divers who have cavern and cave certifications, but those who do enter reportedly find hundreds of skeletal remains of turtles and even some dolphins littered around the sandy bottom. The theory is that these animals lost their lives trying to find their way out of the cave systems, and when they weren't able to, they eventually drowned and decayed, leaving just their skeletal remains for other divers to find. Knowing that even these animals couldn't find their way out definitely makes it a spooky dive site for you to dive. When you think of a mine, do you think of a labyrinth of passages, darkness all around you, a fear of tight spaces, and being trapped underground? Well, the Tuna Hesberg mine is just that. To dive here, you need special permission from the locals, and really only technical cave certified divers should enter. The mine sits 262 feet below ground, which is about 80 meters below ground. To get to the actual dive site, you have to descend over 400 stairs, while your dive gear is actually just lowered down via trolleys and winches instead. Once you're at the bottom, you can go ahead and get in the water and start to explore this maze of passages that lead all over the place. It's recommended that you hire a guide that knows the area and knows the different networks and everything like that for you, but you are allowed to lay your own line and lead your own way if you get that permission from the locals. This is not for the faint of heart, and it's really something that is gonna test many of the common fears we have as humans. Darkness, tight spaces, claustrophobia, being buried alive, being trapped underground, etc. In 1908, a rock slide caused a dam to form inside the river Ligna, which caused the water levels to rise tremendously, flooding a nearby village. Now, over a hundred years later, the buildings inside the village are actually remarkably well preserved. If you do dive this site, you can literally drift above the road that would have led to the village and then cross the bridge into the village itself and start observing what was this village that just seems to be trapped in time underwater. I don't know about you, but it definitely seems a bit spooky or scary to me to just see an abandoned village underwater like that. And I don't know, for me, I'd be checking over my shoulder for zombies from Resident Evil 4 or something like that. The Salem Express Ferry was reportedly carrying around 500 passengers when it tragically sank in December of 1991. It was traveling from Saudi Arabia to Egypt on a 36-mile journey that was a pretty regular trip for it. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, they deviated from their main course and they actually ran aground on a coral reef about 10 miles offshore. That coral reef ripped a hole in the bow of the boat and that allowed seawater enter not just the boat but the car deck as well, which made the boat extremely vulnerable. Unfortunately, after only 20 minutes, the ferry sunk and many of its passengers were still on board. Due to the time of year, many of these passengers were actually heading back home for the holidays, but they never made it to safety and they never were retrieved either because of the dangers of the wreck and just how far deep into the wreck they were. This one's a bit controversial as it's a fairly recent wreck in the grand scheme of things and understandably, many people think it's disrespectful to recreationally dive a gravesite. That said, there are divers who do dive the site and technical divers who even penetrate into the wreck itself. Tragically, those who do dive the site find luggage, clothing, 
children's toys, and even life rafts that were never launched in time. Now, almost all of these dive sites I mentioned today require an advanced level of training, which should give you even more reason to continue your education in diving and get that next level of certification. And that's why in this video, I cover why everyone needs to get their advanced open water certification. Click or tap the screen now to check that out. And with that, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halloween.